Alright guys, welcome to another video. Back down at Barton's Point again. We thought well after the last session we thought we'd come down here again. So this time it's my turn to get the ray. Fingers crossed we get more. Yeah, fingers tonight. crossed we get more. Or a chance of a cuddling as well. Because it is colder like tonight. But we've got some bluey, um, we've got some squid, same amount of bait really as last time. Uh, I'm gonna put two rods out this time though and I'm just gonna put out one rod. Just a one rod, yeah. Next place we go to, we're probably going to be at another mark. I'm not going to reveal that yet. If I don't go there, then it'll be a carp fishing video. So stay tuned for that one. So yeah, stay tuned for this one. Ashes just put. Ash has just brought his manky old squid in. Manky old squid! <laughs> <laughs> Don't put that in, Jamie. Two years old and he's freezing this squid. Two years old, look at it, manky old squid. <laughs> <laughs> Delete that. Hey, that. I mean, you can tell by the colour of it, look at it. I didn't bring this with you for. Look at that serious face. Cutting away his manky old two year old squid. Stinks. <laughs> Why did you put it on there for? That's what you give me. <laughs> and that's what you put out on yours just a minute ago. That's the reason why we've not had nothing. I mean, yeah, we thought we used the crap bait, the old bait first. Yeah. Until the tide comes in a bit more. And then we swap to the better baits. We've got some bluey. We've got some fresh squid. Stay tuned, guys. Alright guys, so the rods are out, I've got a uh, pulley, <laughs> I've got a pulley rig out on my rod on whole squid, and my brother's just changing his manky old squid on his rod, <laughs> oh. excuse me, hold my breath and count to ten. It was all the burgers that he ate earlier. <laughs> <sighs> I think that's worked. Tell how many burgers you had earlier. No, I had uh, two quarter pounders and my missus couldn't eat one of hers, so I had one of hers as well. So that's three quarter pounders I've had with a load of chips from the chip shop. I felt like a fat, fat man, I really do. Oh. It was good. But yeah, the rods are out. My brother's just baiting up his manky old squid on his rod. <laughs> He's laughing at me. He's got a paternoster on, same as he had last time, because it worked for him last time. But now I'm using pulley rigs and pulley dropper rigs. <coughs> <Stop laughing>, bruv. <laughs> Look at him, I'll turn you around. Well, I haven't got on. <coughs> The main squid now, guys. Show us your bait then. <coughs> the fresh you one. Even wake up. The fresh stuff that he brought the other day. There's no manky. I just took it off and chucked that bit away that he gave me. But yeah. Same as last time. It's not very big, but it should be better than that manky old squid. Jason's adding his freezer for how long, Joe? About two years. About two years. Stunk. No, that's all right, isn't it? Not very nice lab on your hands. It's all right, you got wipes.
Oh, it's composing. It's decomposing, should I say. Ooh. Oh, you can tell by like, the colour of it and it stinks as well. I just thought we'd get rid of it for the whiting on the I don't the know why that you've done it. Lightweight one. It's not worked. What's going on I've only used like one each. The whiting will have that ash. The whiting will have that. Right, we've got that manky old squid on there. And we've got some fresh squid. I only put these in there this morning. I broke That's going out. We use all that today. And I've got some blue here. I've only got brought one with me. And I will use that near the top of the tide. One whole bluey. And that will do us as we're only using one rod each for now. I will put uh, a live bait rod out on the manky old squid. Uh, <laughs> When it gets a bit warmer, we're going to have many more uh, freshwater videos going up. And there'll be some sea fishing as well in the hound show, in the ray show. At the minute, it's just here, there and everywhere because, I mean, there's not really any cod being caught. So, until I hear good reports of codling being caught, which I don't think will happen, not now. Well, you never know, though. But you never know. It, it might, it's getting colder. Yeah. Might get them in January. Start of the year. It's starting to get, get colder now, isn't it? So you don't know. It might might come in late, but if we get any reports anywhere, then we'll be at their marks to try and bag ourselves one, isn't it? Because we ain't had any this year yet, have we? No, it would be nice to have like a cod. Yeah, I bet it's <clears> been <throat> tough for a lot of people. Um, but yeah, but they just don't come is. down, have they? Really? No. It's, and with the trawlers it's, out it's, there and that as well, that's not really doing. Anything any good? They're just not not in numbers like they used to be. You know, you might get the odd one here and there and be lucky. But anyway, hopefully we get a ray. This is what we've come for. I know we know there's rays always. You always got chances of a ray here at Barton's Point at Sheerness. So yeah, last time. That's it on the last video. So we'll see what happens. The high tide tonight is at 11 o'clock, and the time now is it's about half eight. So. Either way, keep watching. Stay tuned. Show us the face, then, um, bro. The face. The funny give it, face. Give us the face. The face. Second, guys, with a little white in. This white in, lovely and alive. I've made a live bait rig, which has got a small hook. And what I do is, I go through the nostril and out the other end, like so. And this big 6 0 here is going to go. One, two, three, four wraps behind like that, so it's nice and close. And I've got this on a running rig, but what I've done is I've got a pulley bead there with a bit of line. I don't know if you can see. Which is probably about 40 centimetres long. And that's attached to a lead. It's just so it runs through like this. I know you can't see very well because it's dark. It's so it runs through like this, so the whiting can move around freely. It's a good tactic, this guys. I've had some cracking bass like this. Then a little flick. That's it, just retrieving. Anything, bruv? No, there's nothing. You was getting some taps though, weren't you? Yeah, I was getting some taps. Yeah, nothing. The bait though. Still got some bait on there. Let's check it. 
<laughs> Boy, it's cold tonight. It is freezing tonight. But, as you can see my breath, guys. Just see it floating by a bit. It's cold. Yeah, you definitely had a, some white intact to take that. Yeah. I mean, it was tapping away, wasn't it? Get back up and get back out there. Cut this bluey up. I know I've showed you this before on the last video, but I'll show you again. I'll do it quick. Head off. Tail off. And I work out the middle, which is about about there. And then I'd go down there. One, two, and then I'd go down there and the side of the side of the uh, fish. So you've got four baits. But what I will do is with this long one here, I'll run my knife down the middle, just to point first and go all the way along, and then start pushing in. And there we are, we've got another one. Another one, there's two, three, four, five. I could run along that one, but on this fatter side I'd rather not. On that side was... It's more thicker at near the head than it is towards the tail end, if you know what I mean. So the tail end's all right to put in another two sections of bait. So you've got one, two, three, four, five there. And uh, I'll, sometimes I'll put the head on um, the live bait rod in close. I'll just put that on the end. Um, it's a bit small, really. But yeah, I, I do do it. But yeah. So I'll prepare it and I'll show you what I do, quickly. As I wrap them up like this, I go all the way down to the middle, and then I turn, the, turn it round, turn the bait round and go the other way. Come to the end, go all the way back up to the middle. As always, round the finger, tuck, round the finger again, tuck, pull, and away from, and up towards me. And that stopped that plastic from, uh, it is tucked away in there, from unravelling. See? Just what I do. Anyway, there's that on. one. Like and, yeah, and then what I do is, get that hook. A bit fiddly. If you take your time with it. Let it go on. If you feed it, feed it round, like I am. Let it go on like a worm. Just like putting a worm on. And there we go. And then what I do is bring the panel down. As always, one, two, three, four, five on this one. Four or five, it's all right. And then just put that through, pull. Just grab the hook and pull the line so it's nice and tight. And there we go. That's a lovely bait that can go out for a ray. And that's what I caught on yeah. last time when we was down here as well. Uh, really sharp, to be honest. I put that in the wrong like place. That. My mistake. Just move that. That's all right, like that. And there we go. There's a nice um, <coughs> bluey bait going out. Let's see what happens.
well guys we've only had white in and that is it at the moment we've stopped the music now I'm just binding up some uh, squid tell you what it is freezing tonight yeah it's bloody freezing holding that oh look the ice Get the ice coming for the squid Oh, you then, just had a bite. Yeah, yeah, no, we've got the bluey though. out at the I minute. Yeah, it did too. Yeah, we've got well. the bluey out there now. Still got so, the live bait rod out as well. Yep. Yeah. Just waiting on a ray, hopefully. I think it might be a bit too cold to for a ray, yeah. but... It's a bit too cold really for that, isn't it? You never know, I might still be here. There he is. Might be still one about. Freeze. Just keep plugging away. Bully panel. Whole squid. Fingers crossed. Probably set a bite. The first fish, guys. I think first? I might have. We're not get, having much luck tonight, here. guys. It's just whiting. It's too cold. Yeah, I don't know. It's too cold. For... Not a lot of yeah, colour in the water. Sort of though, isn't it? There's a little bit of colour in the water, but not a lot. A bit clear. We've got a whiting. Not a bad size whiting. I'm bluey, that one. That wave really got you then, Joe. That's all my boots are proof. Waterproof, thermal waterproof boots. Bloody need them in this weather. Well, well done, Ash. Well done. The fish is a fish, <laughs> Well, it's it? a fish, yeah. It's not a blank. That's it. I'd rather be catching something than blanking, that's for sure. I've just put a massive bait out on my rod. I just snapped off. Literally, I went to retrieve my rod. As I lifted it to pull out, pull out, pull off the bottom, it just snapped. Couldn't believe it. So I thought, so I'm sorting all that out. I just Your lines all down there that you pulled yeah, off. Yeah, that's all down here. I tried to take it all off from a reel. I thought I'll give up. So I just put um, my Mag Three on there. So. Five, five, three. This line, it's not that great. I forgot the name of it. Suffix or something like that is called. I can't remember the name of it. But I won't be using it again. It's bloody rubbish. It just weakens really quickly and it causes it to snap. So I won't be using it again. I don't like this stuff. I'd probably go to sensor. Uh, that's what I want to try. Go back to sensor or the Berkeley XTS. That's all right. But the only problem with X, the Berkeley XTS is you can't see it. And it's a dark line, but the sensor you can. I won't use Rovex. I've, it's okay. It's better than this, but it's it's not brilliant. As again, it, it it does weaken after a while. But yeah. Whiting tonight, that is it. We're still hammering away at it though. Hopefully, you never know. We might it's get. Now, it's on, yeah, it's, on, it's, on, the it's on the way out now. I've just literally cast my rod right over that way. Massive bait on. Big fat chunky bait, big bluey with a whole squid wrapped around it. So let's see what happens on that one on the bully dropper on four O hooks. Stay tuned. Well, guys, another another unfortunate one. Yeah, Just it is whiting. freezing though, guys. Yeah. <sighs> I don't even see that. <laughs> Jay, they can see that, mate. The rods are like yeah. ice. We're the only mad ones on this beach. No one's been on here tonight. All we had is white in tonight. No rays. Yeah, unfortunately, guys, no rays. Last time we was down here, we had the ray. Well, I had the ray. 
I was hoping that he'd get one tonight, or two, you know, we thought it was going to be, but it's just, it's too cold, I think. But we tried, didn't we, bruv? And we did. It is so cold tonight, the rods is just icing over. We're the only ones on this beach. The only mad ones here, yeah. The car's even frozen over as well, so we've got to clear all the ice off the window screen before we head off. Um, yeah, we'll have a video before Christmas. Um, we'll make that the Christmas special. I don't know where we're going to be on that one or what's happening, but talking to the rest of the team, uh, they said they've got something lined up for that, so yeah. I don't know what it is. So stay tuned for that one. Yeah, nothing, just ray, just, just white in no rays tonight. So, but yeah, keep watching, guys. Uh, just a white. You know, we're going to have plenty of videos going out there, brother, aren't we? Yep. Since... Yeah, there will be some more. So there's going to be another one up before like Christmas, hopefully. Yeah. We got. Some coming for this spring. But I'm looking forward like, to next year. Yeah, next year is going to be the best one. With the rays and the hounds. Come springtime. It's going to be. Yeah. And then into the summer, we're going to be on the rays, the hounds, and then we have some bash sessions and some soul, soul uh, sessions. Also catfish in the spring mm. and some yeah. carp fishing as well. A bit of all that. So. I know fresh water's not for everyone that's watching, but for some it is. Same applies to sea fishing, so yeah. So stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching guys and happy Thanks fishing. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. Oh, and like and subscribe. Cheers guys.